Hi folks, this is Jack Spierko with another survival podcast video. Today I want to talk to you about proper rifle form. Um, I decided to do this video because I look at so many videos of so many people shooting online and I just look at it and I can't help it. I just see, think to myself, wrong, wrong, wrong. The reality is with any rifle, and like any weapon picked up should be cleared made sure it's safe, um, the reality is that any rifle is basically built the same way. The standard dimensions of a rifle at length of pull, which is from the stock to the trigger guard, the rise of the comb, there's a little bit of variance. Sometimes you'll have a higher cheek piece because a rifle is designed for a scope, a lower cheek piece because it's not designed for a scope. But basically, from forearm to butt, the way the stock is built and the way the rifle is designed to balance at a midpoint is almost exactly the same with any rifle that you'll ever pick up including if you pick up a reproduction of a 200-year-old uh, black powder rifle. You'll find that even though it's a bigger, longer, heavier rifle, it'll balance about the same point, and your dimensions of the stock and the way it's designed will be the same. What does that mean? That means that the rifle has been designed to be shot a specific way. And unlike a lot of things where people can say, well, I don't do it that way, the reality is if you don't fire a rifle in the right form, you're doing it wrong. I don't want to sound arrogant, I don't want to sound like a jerk, and I don't want to sound like I think I'm better than anybody else, uh, but I'm going to show you proper rifle form from a standing offhand position today, and then I'm going to show you the four most common errors. And what I'm going to challenge you to do is either have yourself videotaped or photographed and look for these errors in yourself. Make the corrections, and when you do, I think you'll find that you'll start shooting better, especially when it comes to shooting offhand or shooting with a strong or weak side rest the way you would in a real field position. So let's start out with uh, the first thing, which is simply getting into a proper shooting position. Okay, I'm not going to get real uh, technical on foot position and, and your feet and everything like that. Stand, suffice to say, they should be about shoulder width apart. You should have your back foot turned, if I'm going to be firing this way, on a 90 degree angle. Your front foot should be about a 45 degree angle. Your knees should be slightly bent. You can play with that. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect, but it certainly shouldn't be really exaggerated when really spread out or real close together. It's kind of a natural position, almost as though you're letting your spine sit up, down into your hips so that you're you're just squatted just a little bit. Your knees bent so that, if, you know, this is a 22 firing, this could be no recoil, uh, but firing a center fire rifle so that there can be some recoil absorption in your body. Your back should be slightly forward, not leaning back. We'll get to that in a second. Um, and the most important part of this is picking your target and bringing the rifle up to the line of sight. And what I mean by that is you should look out in the distance and you should say, okay, I've got a, a fence post out I'm looking at over there. Right now in my mind, I'm looking at that fence post as though there is a, a steel rod, a perfectly straight steel rod connecting the point that I want to shoot all the way back going through the pupil of my eye and extending out of the back of my head. My head will not move. It cannot come down. Okay. It has to stay there, and what that allows me to do is now bring the rifle up to position and place it into the line of sight. Notice my head is maybe tightened down a little bit on the stock, but my, my neck is mostly straight, which is very, very important. You did not see two different things. One, you didn't see me look, find my target, look through the scope, and bring the scope up, because that is always going to end up being wrong. You also didn't see me bring my head down to the rifle. We'll talk about that in a second. I want to bring a prop in though for a second to explain how wrong that is and the problems that that causes. Airsoft pistol here so we know it's safe. We'll clear it anyway uh, just for uh, giggles. When you watch somebody shoot a handgun you always see them basically if they know what they're doing anyway shoot exactly that way. You see this, the eyes take the target and the, the handgun comes up to the side, right? Just like that. And as I'm pointing the gun at the camera, no wisecracks about safety. There is no one behind the camera. All the zooming you'll see is done with the editing program. But that's how you see somebody shoot a handgun. You never see anybody shoot a handgun like this. Up to the, you know, halfway up to the target, and then bring the head down, and then try to, I mean, really, you shouldn't see anybody shooting like that. Nor do you see anybody do this. Right? You have a line of sight, draw your weapon, and you're onto the target. Rifles work the same exact way. It's exactly how they should be. Again, feet, 90 degree foot off the, off the back foot. If you're a left-handed shooter, you just reverse this. Front foot about uh, 45 degrees out. Hips uh, at 45 degrees to the target. So if I'm shooting this way, I want my hips, if I put my hands out here like six shooters, coming 45 degrees off my target and bring the rifle up 
And it doesn't matter if I'm in it shooting down a hill, let's say, and I have to bend my head to look down the hill, but once I have my position in place, I'm still bringing it up. If I'm shooting up at a tree, the squirrel in a tree, I'm scooting down mainly here just so you can see the rifle's angle, and I'm going to shoot up at the tree. Sure, I have to look up, but once I've determined that, it's the same rule. There's a squirrel, line of sight straight back to my right pupil, the rifle comes into position. If you'll do that, and if you have a proper eye relief set for your scope so that your head can be in the right position, and you have full field of view, you'll have no problems taking and making shots.